So hello, I'm Tina Marshall and I am coming to you from my son's room because he went to work and I can shut out the dogs. So I wanted to come in here and just say, wish everybody in our uh, wonderful town a luck with dealing with the um, increased population this week. And I wanted to ask, what's, what's everybody doing for spring break? Now that um, I don't have a kid anymore, well, I have a kid, but he's 24 most, and he's off to work in all this craziness of what our town's going to have. And, um, of course, I work during the week, and I remember the years of chasing the ball team and heading off for spring break and playing baseball. And I can tell you I'm really jealous of all those uh, those boys and their parents that are in Arizona this week for Taft High School Baseball. Go Tigers! And um, just remembering the fun times and wishing all of them um, just to savor these years because God, it goes by so fast and then they're grown and they're gone. So um, anyway, gosh, got a little emotional there. Holy moly. So um, yeah, so... Our town gets crazy, and because we're a tourist town, we are um, required to put a smile on and welcome people to our town to have a great time. And if you're in the tourism industry, then you especially, uh, this is busy and crazy for you. And and for everybody, our highway, our roads get packed, and people are either nice or not so nice. So I'm coming in here to say that I got my prep work and my weekend um, chores done early, got my grocery shopping done, and the store actually was pretty quiet this morning, so I was really happy about that, and I'm all prepped and ready for my week, and my son said something to me last night late, because he works late at night, so he's not home till 10 o'clock, and we, so he's not home for dinner, and he told me, well, you, mom, you, you never cook anymore, you never, you never make dinner, I said, well, you're never home, you work, he said, but I would work, I would eat it when I got home, and it got me thinking, yeah, I haven't been uh, cooking much lately and Dennis does most of cooking and we have gotten used to just cooking for two because he's not home but I guess he wants to eat some home cooked meals and that makes sense because he's probably tired of fast food that he shouldn't be eating anyway and so I made a decision this week to plan out my menu kind of sort of and um, make some of his favorites all week so whether I it goes in the crock pot early in the day before I head to work or um, it's something that we can quick put together and he can eat when he gets home from work. We'll keep him off of eating pizza and Taco Bell. So going to do a little bit better in the mom department, even though he's he's a grown man boy, man cub as I call him. I'm going to um, try to <laughs> make a little extra so he can have some home cooked food and not eat crap which is really what I promote. So why should I not make sure that he's eating good? So the thing is that when they're grown up and they're out of your control, you really can't control what they eat. And that's the frustrating part for me as a mom and as a fitness coach and nutrition coach is that I can put all the healthy stuff in the house and I can cook it for Dennis and I, or, you know, it's there, but I can't control what he buys outside of, um, of the house. So anyway, if you've got any tips for me, I'd love to hear them. And I want to, um, so I'm just gonna get off here, but I want to come in real quick and just say happy spring break. And wherever you are, I hope that you are having a great time. And if you are off doing your family stuff, just really savor it. And if you're off playing baseball or softball somewhere, like, um, some of our local kids are, I wish you, um, luck and enjoy the sunshine wherever you are because we still have a little bit more rain this week. But all right, have a great day signing off and I will be um, chatting with you more this week. Bye.